Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Missy with Lone Star College Sci Fair in Harris County Public Library, and I'm back with my son, Zach. Zach, and we are back with another book, book chat. chat. And today we are talking about something very special. Um, it is the month of February, and we are doing our um, Black History Month book chat. So we read a great book, and it was all about Black history. And Zach has heard a little bit here and there, but this really opened his eyes. What What did we read, Zach? Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Yes. So we read the one of the Who Was books, and this is Who Was Martin Luther King Jr.? And this is by Bonnie Bader. And um, if you have not read any of the Who Was, What Was, Where Is... Um, books, you definitely should. They're really fun, um, but they're written in such a fun way. So let's go ahead and get down into it and let's talk about Black History Month. Let's talk about what was this book about? Do you want me to tell or would you like to tell what this book was about? You. You want, he wants me. Okay. So who is Martin Luther King Jr. is about the life of Martin Luther King Jr. It's sort of a biography um, and it tells you about his life, um, how he lived, how he died, um, what happened in between, who he married, all about the marches that he led on Washington and all around um, our great country to be able to um, free black people from... Um, the oppressions that they were having right at that time. Um, I'm very glad that I didn't live during that time. It is a, just reading about it, you can ask Zach, brought tears to my eyes because it's it's just things that happened in here just aren't right. It literally so, um, caused tear, tears in my eyes too. Yes, it is. A, it This book will bring out a lot of emotions. So um, be prepared um, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of things that happen in there that you think to yourself, but why? Because yeah. we, it's very hard to, it's hard to imagine it, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about it. I want to hear what Zach thought about this book, because I already know a lot about it from growing up. And I have learned about this throughout my, um, throughout my youth and throughout me growing up myself. Yes. I want to hear what Zach thought about it. Zach, I've got a few questions. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. What do you think about Dr. Um, about Martin Luther King Jr.? Do you think that um, he was brave? Yes, of course. I mean, he wanted to um, made. I have a dream speech in front of all of the million people that came. Yes, that speaking in front of people is very brave too, and standing up for what you believe in is really brave too, isn't it? Okay, so then my next question is: Do you think that um, Martin Luther King was smart? Yes. Um, what makes you think that, what makes you think that he was smart? What something from the book that we read that made you know that he's a smart guy? That he skipped two grades. He and, did. He and, skipped two grades. And he also, um, he, he went to like another school and he wanted to keep on learning. And he, learning. he did. He, he, he ended up getting his, um, is he got all kinds of degrees, didn't he? He got his doctorate, right? He got all kinds of degrees. So um, let's see here. What else? Um, what did you think about the I Have a Dream speech? Did you think that it was, it was, <laughs> he gives it a thumbs up. You thought it was good? Did you have a favorite line from it? Do you remember? Hmm. I have a dream. <laughs> I have a dream. My favorite part was the very last lines is free at last, free at last. Thank God almighty, we're free at last. And it, you know, it makes it, it makes an impact, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. So then comes the sad parts. No. How did Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. die? He was shot or assassinated. Well, it's the same same thing. Yes. So he was um, he was assassinated um, by a man, and we found we find this out. But we also read through, and there's there's some doubts that his family had if that was actually the real um, uh, killer um, for his uh, uh, to, that actually killed him. So there is some doubt that his family actually had while you're reading through the book, which which raises some flags. You're thinking. 
but was there justice then if if some if somebody really wasn't caught for the for the crime well um how did finding out that he was killed how did that make you feel sad <laughs> and we know that it made me sad because i actually cried when we were reading that part me too um yeah it's um it is sad it's sad to think that somebody decided to take somebody else's life um and so why would they do that I don't know either. (laughs) I really don't know. Um, So then, and I'm glad, and you know what I'm glad? I'm glad that you have, that we question that because that means that if if we don't know why somebody would do something like that, that that just, it baffles both of us. All right. Did you like the book? Hmm. And it's okay if you didn't like the book. Hmm. You're going to see a rating for five stars. You're Okay, he gives it five stars. Okay. Now, this isn't my type of book that I really like to read. I don't really like reading biographies, and I'm not a big nonfiction-y kind of reader. However, it was a very good informative book, and I really liked giving this um, information to Zach so that way he can learn more about it because I think it's very important that um, that we're able to educate our kids and so that way we don't, you know, repeat things and so that way we know history and we know these types of things, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, let me just change my face. Okay. This book made me angry. It, even though you know what's I knew from history what was going to happen, it still made me angry. Um, I loved the book, but it still just put a fire in you that made you mad in a way. Um, and obviously, Zach's made him feel made him feel sad it is it is sadness is in the book and that's okay because the life of dr martin luther king was a happy was a happy life and it was a strong brave life but in the end you think about it and it can make you sad so um we've got a we've got a novel here um that i think that you will truly enjoy do you think that people would read it and enjoy it remember this is like a six million star book. <laughs> it's only a hundred pages, so it's not hard to get through. Um, Zach, how old are you again? Nine. He's nine. So um, remember that uh, you can um, you can read this, and it's a really fast read. Um, it gives a lot of information in just a short amount of pages, and boy, oh boy, you will learn a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, there are things that I've forgotten, and I am so happy that I learned about. Um, So I really hope that you're going to try these out. And remember, I mean, it's Black History Month, so give it a shot. There's plenty of books that we have out there. And check out our page. You can always see other other books that you can try. All right. So, Zach, do you want to say anything else to them? No? (laughs) He doesn't want to say anything. Happy reading. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you next time. All right? Bye-bye. Bye.